Okay, here is the first piece that I have ground on the surface grinder. And as you can see, the surface finish is not the greatest. Um, I'm going to flip over here. So this came off the shell mill on the bridge port on this side here. So a nice, smooth, equal surface. And here you can see what looks to be a washboarded effect. And these lines right here, when I, as I was grinding this thing, going this direction, if I took a bigger step over, it would end up giving me these lines here. So I'm not sure what, if that's just material being removed off the grinding wheel and then leaving this high spot here. So um, you can see them, you can't really feel them, but when I go down here to the feeler gauge, about thousands difference there. So still trying to get this thing tuned in here. And like I said, I have exactly zero experience with surface grinder. So this very well could be user error and it could be something as simple as I don't have it tuned in right, whether it's tightening up the way or the gibbs on the ways, whether it's the way I'm dressing the wheel or the amount of step over I'm taking or the speed that I'm grinding at. There's a whole bunch of variables here that I'm not sure what is causing this, so I can't tell you def definitively. <clears throat> but I am happy to see that thing running and to make my first uh, grind on it. You know, it's kind of cool. It's uh, something I've never done before, so pretty happy with that. Okay, we have the table all installed, the chucks back on. I've spent about an hour just playing around with it, doing some practice grinding, trying to get it finally tuned in. Um, overall, really happy with it. Um, some things to note here. This oil cup that was missing when I bought this, it had been broken off, so I was able to just uh, um, back it out with a, what was left of the oil cup, I was able to back out with a chisel. Um, I was able to replace this with actually the one that sits on my Bridgeport milling head. So this is the oil cup that would oil the bearings. Um, since I do not have open bearings in my uh, spindle anymore, they're clo uh, sealed bearings. Um, we don't use this anyway. So I just decided, hey, you know, it'd work good here. Put a set screw in there. So uh, good repurposing of this uh, oil cup here. And it's out of the way. Um, as far as the quality of the surface finish I'm getting, I'm still learning how to dial this in. So I was playing with a uh, V block here that I had, just, this is an old one. It was kind of beat up and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try to smooth this down, get all the burrs off of it. And this has been good practice. I've noticed that if I go too fast or take too deep of a cut, it will leave a washboard effect. So that could be a number of things. It could be a technique issue, whether I'm taking too much off, going too fast, or it could be a spindle issue where I don't have enough preload on that spindle um, and there's actually room in there for it to move up and down in that tapered section of this uh, head right here. So I'm going to take a little bit more time practicing on this, do some more research to see what I need to do to uh, eliminate this washboard effect. But yeah, it could be a wheel issue too. I could be running the wrong type of wheel. This is just what came on here. It's a Norton and all the technical data is, you know, I need to look it up, but it's a Maybe I need a different grip size wheel for what I'm grinding. Again, I have no real experience with these surface grinders. So for an entry level uh, grinder, like what I need, this is perfect. Um, trying to figure out where I'm gonna put this in the shop. Uh, room here is tight as you can see. So, um, but I do like having the ability to have this here because this will give me uh, greater capability as a machinist and being able to dial in the parts that I'm trying to make. Um, if you're looking at one of these, the big things I would look at is slopping the handle. So this bushing obviously is worn out. We are able to replace the bushing, build up some bronze on this shaft here and get this thing re uh, repaired and drill an oil hole so it actually get lubrication. Um, other thing I would look is how much play there is in the handles. This one has a little bit in this lead screw here that pulls the table in and out. So that's just where that's in the screw itself. So uh, you want to make sure that those are within tolerances that you're willing to work with. Also throwing a dial indicator on the table. I have about, from what I'm seeing, about two thousandths of a deviation here. So it'll dip down a little bit. 
So that's telling me that this table's, you know, has a little bit of wear in it. Would this make this a great candidate for scraping? Yeah, and I'm thinking about getting a hand scraper um, and learning how to hand scrape on this because if I can, this has got square boxed ways, so there nothing, nothing's elaborate in it. It's a pretty simple design, so this should be a pretty good candidate for me to hand scrape in. So I am looking at uh, doing that too because that's another art that I want to learn. Um, overall, if you're looking at one of these, they're a very simple design, but a very, I would say, um, forgiving design, easy to work on. Um, I have had pretty good luck with this, and it's running pretty pretty true. The spindle, pretty easy to get into and clean up. Uh, put a new bearing in the back, that went super smooth. And overall, I'm really happy with this. This is a good addition to the shop, and just over the years of using it, uh, I'll be able to fine tune it in more. So uh, really happy with this. Again, if you guys get something out of these videos, please hit that subscribe button and uh, let me know in the comments what more you'd like to see me focus on on these. Because I know there's not a whole lot of information on some of these machines that I bring into the shop. So if there's something that you want me to specifically focus on, uh, let me know and I'll try to do my best to answer it. Um, again, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.